What's up everybody? So much has happened in the last couple days regarding From Software. We have a rumor that the next From Software game will be a PlayStation exclusive. We have a leak that there is a Bloodborne movie adaptation that is in development with directors named attached to it. And on top of that, I wanted to talk about some of you guys' reaction to the news that From Software is hiring a lot of people and they are becoming their own publisher because I personally think it's a good thing, but there's a lot of you guys that have some concerns and they are legitimate. So we'll take a look at that further on in the video. So let's start with the rumor of PlayStation exclusivity for the next From Software game. It gained a lot of traction on the subreddit that I visit, Gaming Leaks and Rumors, and it's basically saying that there's a user on Reset Era that has claimed that the next From Software game will be a PlayStation exclusive. Now, you might ask yourself, why would we believe some random guy on Reset Era? Reset Era is known for leaking games. You have The Last Guardian, Horizon Zero Dawn, and there was also Final Fantasy VII Remake. But also, it is the home of Omni. Omni is the most prominent leaker for everything from software. Omni is the one that leaked the Sekiro trailer before it was revealed, as well as the Elden Ring trailer. Omni has been the one true reliable source that you can get info from regarding what From Software is doing before official announcements. So Reset Era has given us a lot of verified leaks in the past. Is it the case with this? I have no idea. There's no way to tell. But at the same time, a PlayStation exclusive is not so far-fetched, and I'll tell you why. Sony and Tencent just purchased a small chunk of From Software's parent company, Kadokawa. So they might be inclined in asking for a PlayStation exclusive once again, because after all, this is not the first time it happens. For the PlayStation 3, there was Demon Souls. For the PlayStation 4, there was Bloodborne. Now you have the remake that was done by Bluepoint on the PlayStation 5, but technically the PlayStation 5 generation hasn't had their own From Software exclusive title yet. And there's a good reason why Sony might want to throw a bunch of cash at From Software for this. First of all, these games are console sellers. There must have been a lot of people that bought a PS4 just to play Bloodborne. I personally bought a PS5 right off the bat just to play the Demon Souls remake because I never played it on the PS3. And especially with all the acquisitions that Microsoft is doing recently, if Sony was able to secure themselves an exclusive From Software title, it would be a huge win for them. Is this a good thing for gamers in general? Not necessarily. The last thing we want is another Bloodborne situation where the game doesn't get a sequel, doesn't get a remaster, doesn't even get a 60 frames per second patch. I guess time will tell. So let me know in the comment section if you believe this rumor that the next From Software game will be a PlayStation exclusive and we'll move on to the next piece of news, which is regarding Bloodborne, surprisingly. So we have Daniel Richmond, who is a leaker for a lot of Marvel stuff, and he's usually focused more on movies, TV shows, and he's saying that there's a Bloodborne adaptation that is in development. Check this out. So he's saying there's a big video game movie adaptation, Bloodborne Studios, Sony Pictures, production companies PlayStation, producer Lorenzo D. Bonaventura, writer Darren Lemke. So Sony project based on the PlayStation game of the same name, Bloodborne follows the player's character, a hunter, through the decrepit gothic Victorian era inspired city of Yarnum, whose inhabitants are afflicted by a Bloodborne disease which transformed the residents into horrific beasts. Attempting to find the source of the plague, the player's character unravels the city's mysteries while fighting beasts and cosmic beings. Now, logically, that would make sense. Sony is big into video game adaptations. The Last of Us was a hit. I absolutely loved it. But The Last of Us story is told in a traditional way. I don't know how a From Software story would be 
able to be told in a movie or a series because a lot of the storytelling is done through environments and item description and reading between the lines which is hard to do when you're watching a tv show or a movie so i don't know how that would pan out but it would be interesting if it does come out anything bloodborne related at this point i will gladly take now there's one final topic i wanted to talk about and that was the concern from some of you guys the subscribers regarding from software's growth specifically the fact that they are hiring so many new people and the fact that they will become their own self-publishers. Let's take a look. So we have someone who says, unpopular opinion, but mark my words, this is the beginning of the end for FromSoft. And another comment that goes along with that says, that's great and all, and I just hope that FromSoft does not turn into Blizzard as the company grows. And that's honestly a valid concern because Blizzard was at its best in the early 2000s when they were coming out with Diablo 2 and StarCraft and it slowly just turned to shit as they grew. It turned to absolute garbage. And the most recent example of that is Diablo 4. I played Diablo 2 for literally decades and I played Diablo 3 for a lot of time and I went back here and there and it was always fun. Diablo 4 on the other hand is a mess. I played it for a month and I dropped it. I don't think I'll be going back to it. And that says a lot because I'm a long time Diablo fan. So there is a valid concern that as the company grows it will be diluted a bit and the priorities will change, it will become more greedy. But on the other hand, there's a massive difference between Blizzard and From Software. From Software is a Japanese company, and even though, yes, they are motivated by making money, they have standards. And Blizzard seems that they dropped their standards and only became focused on microtransactions, which is something that we have never seen in a From Software game. Yes, there's paid DLCs, but you're getting a lot of values out of that. We've never had to pay for skins. So I wouldn't jump the gun and start calling Doomsday yet. The next comment though is a little bit concerning. Someone said, Sony slowly purchasing bits of From Software is very bad news for PC players. And that I do agree with because we saw what happened with Bloodborne. We talked about it earlier in the video. And if Sony just keeps buying little chunks by little chunks by little chunks, eventually they're gonna own a decent amount. And I don't want games to be Sony exclusives, especially from software games. I have a PlayStation 5, that's my main way that I game, but it's not good for the ecosystem. I want Xbox players to be able to enjoy it too. I want PC players to be able to enjoy it too. From Software games are just so awesome, they give a challenge that no other game can, and it would suck that they would be only on PlayStation. So I hope that doesn't happen, but I do understand why some people are getting concerned. Now let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I really appreciate all your input. Let me know what you think about the leaks we covered today, and I'll see you guys on the next one.